Radar and Ada each have two high efficiency power supplies. The first power supply is for the digital components such as the motherboard and hard drives. The second power supply is dedicated to the analog components. There may be reasons to check the voltages being delivered by these supplies, whether instructed by is support or if you suspect your power supply is not functioning as it should. To do this, you will need a Phillips screwdriver to remove the lid of the unit and a digital multimeter or voltmeter to measure the voltages. Anytime you are dealing with power, it is essential to be extremely careful. Please call is support if you have any concerns. With radar or ADA powered off, remove the lid of the unit and locate the SICK0. It is the long L-shaped card at the back of the unit laying flat at the top. Connected to this card is an orange Molex power connector with six wires running out of the connector. Power the unit on and carefully insert the black probe of your multimeter into the connector so that it touches the exposed metal around either of the black wires. Then insert the red probe into the connector so it touches the metal around the orange wire and write down the voltage measured. Proceed to move this red probe to the blue, red, and yellow wires and write down the voltage of each wire. The voltages between these wires and the black ground wire should be positive 18, negative 18, positive 5, and negative 5 volts, respectively, within about plus or minus 10%. Next, we want to measure the voltages of any one of the small white Molex power connectors with black, yellow, and red wires. There is one of these connectors providing power on the SYNC I.O. board. Like the orange Molex connector, with this connector we want to measure between each colored wire and either of the black wires, with the black probe on the black wire and the red probe on the colored wire. The voltages of the yellow and red wires should be 12 volts and 5 volts respectively, within about plus or minus 10%. If these voltages are incorrect, please contact IS support for further instructions. You may also want to clean these connectors, either as a preventative measure or if you are experiencing noise across your analog inputs or outputs. There are several ways to do this. In this video, we are using a spray-on contact cleaner, but pure isopropyl alcohol is also recommended. With the radar powered off, apply a moderate amount of your cleaning solution to each side of the connector. Quickly connect and disconnect the connector several times. This should clear away any oxidation or residue from the contact points of the connector.